morning, friends. We are playing Tears of the Kingdom again. And we're basically going through our adventure log and doing all of the little stories that we haven't, you know, completed there. And right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go serenade the last great fairy. Alright, so... Let's head over there. I think there's a shrine. Not a sh Yeah, a shrine. That's the word I'm looking for. Where's my quest marker? There it is. And there's the shrine. Travel! Alright, so what are they going to want me to do for this? I don't know. So if things sound a little differently, I'm using a slightly different program. But it should make everything better. So, here's hoping. If there's problems, let me know. Because that's the only way I can fix stuff. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go talk to the stable trotters. Wee. <laughs> All together now. Ah, it's you. Look, I mean, listen to this. Piper's here. Our flutist, Piper, has made his triumphant return. He's like 10. When did you guys start? Who knew how smitten Piper really was? Not I. Affairs of the heart are something I've yet to experience firsthand. Well, anyways, the return of Piper, Piper's delightful flute, has revitalized the stable trotters. We're ready to make some music. Every member is essential for our signature sound. Together, we are not just the stable trotters in my heart. We'll always be the stable gloppers. Gallopers? Gallopers. You have done so much for us, I hardly know where to begin. Let me start with this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. That's five thank yous from the five of us. Attention, everyone. This is a new start for the stable, stable trotters. May our performances let the great fairies know, all travelers. No, 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 let everyone in the world be awashed in sweet, soothing music. <laughs> but I'd better save some energy for the performance and not fitter it all away on chatting. By the way, I remember you, traveler. Are you here out of concern for the great fairy? Yes. No. Am I wrong? You're not here to meet with the great fairy Chiesa? Perhaps you've come here to visit Outskirt Stable. I'm sorry to say the Great Fairy here has also withdrawn into her flower bud and hasn't come out in a while. She must be scared to appear just like what happened in Woodland Stable. This Great Fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troupe. She loved the sweet notes of his flute. So I'm sure the sound of his flute would cheer her up now, but... The road has been blocked by some rocks that tumbled out from the sky. I thought maybe we could drive over it, and we did not make it about halfway. But the rubble's just too much trouble. No horse can get past it. And our little jaunt took its toll, alas. Poor Breezer, the indispensable sixth member of our troop, has broken down yet again. Our Breezer has seen us through thick and thin. Without it, our hearts will be in our performance. I'm thankful Piper has returned, but I'm so worried about the Great Fairy that I just can't lead the players with my usual player. Alright, well. <laughs> Convenient. Make yourself at home. Are the rumors true? Oh look, another little side story. I'm glad to see you made it to Outskirt Stable. These horses are quite the charmers, eh? They used to be stable southwest here in Grudo Canyon. But when the weather changed after the upheaval, it took the stable by surprise. Their horses couldn't handle the extreme temperatures, so I took them in. Oh. Say, have you heard any rumors about skeletal horses? Yes. If you take the road north, there's a place called the Sardini Park Ruins. Folks say they appear there night after night. Are they spirits of dead horses that can't move on? Or cursed horses born in the upheaval? Or, ah, I'm sorry, I lose my head as soon as the conversation turns to horses. Well, I expect it's just a rumor, but if it were true, I'd sure like to meet one. 
Well, we've definitely done that before. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Because this is the suggestion on how to handle this particular quest. No. I don't need you to attach like that. There we go. That's what I need. That looks about even. Yeah. There we go. And that's a hand axe. You don't need to attach anything. Look at our control stick. <laughs> they want you to basically go rough riding. There we go. I'll attach that right there. Yeah, that should be fine. Hey, you wanna go? You can't possibly abandon the Great Fairy. Piper has returned, and I'm sure she will enjoy his performance. Get in. I'll handle it. I have been waiting for those very words. Everyone, get on board before he changes his mind. I mean, I'm not gonna change my mind, so... Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you for letting me know that it sounds good, because... You know, that's always the problem with new systems, is that you're never quite sure if it's going to, you know, be what you need or a little rough. I should probably put on my Zonai shirt, because I don't know how, uh, strenuous this is going to be. No, you're not. You're fine. There we go. I'm surprised the 10 year old's not like, this is the best ever. All right, she's up over here, right? Yes, this is where she's at. All right, here we go. Great fairy, we're here. Yeah, no, it was just a few rocks, but... Horses, like, if the ground feels unstable under their feet, they won't go up it. I know this because I have a friend who, you know, had horses growing up, and she said they won't go over certain things. She also said that sometimes they're so dumb that, you know, something that, you know, every year they see freaks them out for the first time because during the winter they didn't see it because, well, they either weren't riding or it was covered in snow. Now prepare for the performance of a lifetime. Yeah, no, horses, horses are a pain in the butt. Which means they did a really good job of, like, displaying how horses just don't do stuff. And I do like how they use a more, like, old-fashioned traditional trumpet for the trumpeter. I don't think I have anything that I can upgrade right now. Because either A, I don't have the money for it, or B, I don't have the materials for it. We'll find out. Here she is. I do like their outfits. Their outfits are very pretty. Look, Piper, look! She's awakened! Oh, I didn't know she'd be so shiny! When was the last time you saw these guys? Thank you again! I have a reward for you, and it's too much for these pockets to handle. No need to be humble. You deserve this. Alright, maybe I can't afford something now to upgrade. That's better. Now I can concentrate on our performance. Our musical troupe has finally performed for all the great fairies. I'm moved. I'm inspired. I'm besides myself with joy. 
Ooh, excuse me. Thank you so much for not giving up and forging on despite all the obstacles. Every time the great fairies emerged in response to our music, it gave all of us in this troop confidence in our playing. If you ever want to hear our beats, stop by a stable. If we're there, I'll give you a rhyme to remember. The show's not over. Far from it. We're just getting started. We'll keep playing and making audiences smile all over the kingdom. It's up to us to pour our thoughts and feelings into our music when we play. From now on, I want our music to soothe every child that comes to the stables, not just the great fairies. I consider you an honorary member of the Grand Stable Troopers Troop, Trotter's Troop. Might I know your name? Link, eh? Hmm. So that's what we call can call the hero who saved our Grand Troop. I'll remember that. I surely will remember. Our Grand Troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the Stable Trotters no more. In honor of this genuine hero, hero let us be known as the Stable Heroes. <laughs> that's that's not a bad name. That's that's a cute name. Mmm, uh. you're the one who brought the musical troupe to me, aren't you? Don't be shy. I can tell it was you even while I was hiding. Perhaps your reward should be me joining you as a co-adventurer, hmm? <laughs> ha, I'm only teasing you, but you get ever cuter when you're blushing. I really can't thank you enough, young man, but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I'll gladly help you. So why don't you let me take a peek at that little pouch of yours? With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the maximum. Enhance away. Mm. Alright. I wonder what I need for this slippery gear. Ooh, horblin horns. Okay, sticky frogs. Uh, ooh, sticky lizards. Mm. Enhance! Uh. Got it. Now close your eyes. Alright, slip resistance. Yay! I hope you feel the care I put into this. Now, one more thing. How about enhancing it one more time? Some sets of clothing, when each piece is enhanced twice, will grant a new power when worn. Have you got other clothing? Yes. Uh. I finally have the hood for this. I have enough sticky lizards, so yes. Close your eyes. Alright. So I need more horriblins. Which, they're in caves. That's easy to, that's easy to do. Uh, sure. Let's see what else we got. Sticky lizards. Sticky lizards. I need more sticky lizards. Alright, let's see. What else can I upgrade? Anything? Hmm... There are a few things that I have all the gear for, so let's see... Shock fruit. Stormy weather attack. Alright, let's see. Apparently that's more shock fruit. Because stormy weather is something that occasionally happens, so if I'm fighting something, that'll be helpful. Shockfruit. Which means all the other... Like, I imagine there's a cold attack and a fiery attack that whenever you're in hot... Let's see. Electric Lizopo Swarms. Okay. Well, uh, shh. well, I don't have any of the other sets for that, and I don't think there's anything else that I have the whole set for. Well, the Shika one I have the whole set for. Eight out of five, and I'll need more fireflies. <laughs> Alright, so we won't worry about that for now. Uh, Young man, I know what you've done for my family. My sisters are grateful, too. I'm feeling extra special. If you want to enhance your clothing, come back anytime. Take care. Alright, we have all the great fairies unlocked now. 
which means once I get full sets, that will make things a whole lot easier to deal with. Alright, so what's the next little adventure that we have? Alright, okay. Monster collection, he wanted a frox. And then that's getting the slabs. I've gotten a few pictures of slabs, so... Let's see, those are the shrine quests. And then Stone Talus, Maduga, Enox, Horse Guard's Request. Alright. There's a lot of little ones over here. So how about we go ahead... Ooh. Got a Statue of Power. Got a Statue of the Spring of Power is troubled in her inability to send some other got a Statue of the Vast Canyon. Yeah, no, let's go, let's go check on that. So, I think we'll go stop over by Kakariko Village real quick. So then that way we can turn in what tablets we've found so far. And it'll be easier for us to, you know, figure out which ones we haven't done already. Because it will tell you whenever you've gotten them examined. Shrine travel. Activate a shrine. Request it as registered as a travel point. If you ever get stumped or run out of supplies, you can leave the shrine and return easier when you feel ready. Yeah. Alright, so. Let's go ahead. He should be over here. Alright, here we go. Welcome. This means... Well, did you find a stone tablet? According to the stone tablet at Lookout Land, we have ten tablets left to find. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. Here's a picture. <laughs> I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. I'll get started translating right away. Mm -hmm. Hebrew Mountains. Oh yes, I see now what we have here. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Mm. Oft was Raru, king of Keen Blade, weighs his wreck will in favor of the hunt. And of Queen Sonia, queen of Keen Insight, seek out him and repair this king to kingly business. In his Scythian seem she divine that she can him even fine, and for his folly seems him the mere human. And the king, oh, he laughed, not him, her equal for her wit. He knew. And the queen, she laughed to, else even she's scolded. Oh. Allow me to explain. It's actually a very enlightening story. Apparently, King Raru would vacate his official business from time to time in order to go out hunting. I had the impression that he was a stickler, more serious king, but I guess he had a lighter side as well. Mm. However, Queen Sonia was always a step ahead. She would put a stop to King Raru's hunts and bring him back. In some circumstances, you might expect this to have been a point of tension at the, their court. But the tone here is much more playful than that. These worlds were more relatable than one might assume. Or so it seemed from this account, at least how fascinating. We really get a glimpse into the down-to-earth side of the royal family in this way. It's an important find, to be sure. Thank you, Link. I haven't forgotten your reward. Alright, yay, more money! I thought... Of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablets, yep. Nine more. Here's a picture. So that'll take us down to eight. Mm. East Hipper Skies. Oh. Mm. The king was late. He come this evening, so marked the queen to... Sh Shared terrors of his land of shrines and green ye I have no idea. Of era daisy shines, Hyrule Founding have diverse monsters, his 
resumed, besieged, and assailed. Something in strife be brought to despair folks, slipped in king and queen, astain themselves to brighten the scourge to end, to bring the scourge to end. With might of light and pure divine, Abakin and the royal couple made the shrines to shin them away. These holy shrine been yep signs of light. Great queen, king, great queen, ye think ye, ye found what ye were maiden child, that ye can, I have no idea. I'll walk you through this one. The subject here is the actions King Raju and Queen Sonia undertook not long after Hyrule's founding. With the kingdom established, they were worried that their people, for their people, so they sent out to eradicate the monsters troubling them. They created structures called Shrines of Light to seal the monsters away so that they could never be revived. There's more here about light and time too. The sense I get is that the two of them may have had supernatural powers. Though that's part of ancient history, it's a feat those of us living today should still be grateful for. Truly an important discovery. Very good. And here's your reward. Yay, another hundred rupees. Apparently, they have really, really good funding, is what I'm getting out of this. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over. Alright. Alright, so now we're down to seven. So, Kala. Raru, Hyrule's king, Sonia, his queen, his eldest sister, Minoru, and Yeek, Princess Zelda. All whom ye served and loved, all whom throughout alone have ye these words upon this stand. This stand and all thirteen serve as or royal family records, my work final, fruit hoth for all ages. Many of the work made by these much beloved people, some synthes, some unseen. When you make remnants of this mark, feel the flame of hope through full small within my. It be alas though these marks some grant design describing. I ne can not meet Princess Zelda a love for her land. What more than ask ye can ye do for Hyrule's people? Let me left lay. Ooh, nope. Nope. Oh. It seems this is the last of the records. The royals whom the Chamberlain served so faithfully were gone one by one. It's heart ending to read. Her pain comes across so clearly in her words. What's less clear from these entries is the cause of all these partings. Well, each new mystery is an opportunity to do more research. If I keep digging, someday I'll unravel it. Like the noble Chamberlain, I must do my part. I mean, we know what happened. Uh, Ganondorf killed Sonya. Raru got mad, so he gathered... The sages fought Ganondorf. It wasn't going well. Uh, so Varu sacrificed himself to uh, seal Ganondorf away for a very long time. Eons. I'm imagining this is supposed to be eons. Because all the other games at this point have turned into like myth and legend. And 10,000 years ago was like the second or third calamity. So yeah, no, this is eons. This is something that happened eons ago um and then uh zelda turned herself into a dragon and minoru her body died but because she was a sage of spirit she could like let her spirit be housed in different objects as needed uh so yeah that's what that's how everything happened the thought of such incredible historical artifacts yes all right, do we? <laughs> all right, so apparently we have shown him all the ones that we have. 
But we now know which ones we don't have to worry about anymore. Thank you for bearing with me about what I brought over there. Mm. You're welcome to come and have a look at the research lab wall anytime. Oh. If you find any more stone tablets, please document them with a picture. Alright. So we got that one done. Or at least, you know, as much of it as we could do. Monster collection. Yeah, no, let's go deal with the goddess statue first. Because I am curious now. And she's over here. Up here, yes, right there. Travel! Alright. Oh. Oh. Let's see, let's see. What's going on with the goddess statue? Armored enemies. Let's see. Am I going the right way? Nope, that's the exit. We need to go this way. Oh, wait. Uh, that's not good. Uh, she fell over. Um, is there a way we can fix that? Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, examine. Goddess statue has been toppled. Okay. Well, um, I guess we go back to the Spring of Power and let her know what happened. Guess that's what we're gonna do is go back to the spring of power and let her know what happened which the spring of power is in a hollow Ooh, look a chest i figured there might have been one up here i just hadn't had a chance to look for it yet five arrows that's always handy to have all right and then this is one door. This is where all of the sages met to give their oath that they would protect Hyrule. And then this is Queen Sonya's grave over here. I don't know if it's like an actual like her body is down there or if she, you know, was turned to ash and then like underneath this rock is supposed to be like her uh, ashes. And then this room had all of the dragon glyphs. Which I've... Hi, Impa. Hi, uh, Link. Are you making progress in your investigation of the geoglyphs? I've found them all. Oh. I see. So the dragon's tears were shed by Princess Zelda when she transformed. And the geography were drawn by an ancient people who touched those memories and saw visions as you did. Perhaps in the past they were more attuned to that sort of thing than the people of today. Oh. Hmm. I understand now. So that is the truth of it all. Link, if all of the memories you saw are true, then that means since our Princess Zelda has become the Dragon of Light, she can never again return to her original form. It is painfully tragic, our dear Princess Zelda. No, it cannot be. There must be a way, some method to restore Princess Zelda to her former self. Link, I will return to Kakariko Village and review the ancient literature once more. That is the most I can do to help Princess Zelda. I mean, we already figured out how to get her back. What does it say again? A tear with a tear. Hmm. I don't think I have anything that technically classifies as a tear that I could drop on that. That's fine. Alright, so back to the Statue of Power. Which is right here. This shrine's probably the closest shrine. Alright. Gotta go tell the Statue of Power what happened to the Mother Goddess statue. Alright. 
Thank you everyone for joining. I hope you're, you know, having fun with the stories as we explore them and find them. Alright, Spring of Power. What is she going to want us to do? Let's see, was it in there? No, it's more this way. I think that's the one lady... No, that's not the one lady with all of the plushies. It's down in here. This little quarry and then... The entryway is kind of hidden, but we know where it's at, so it makes it easier. Here we go. Yeah, I think when Breath of the Wild, whenever I like came across this, I kind of just fell into it from the other side. Do 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 do. Hi. We have a message. Is this true that the goddess statue in the canyon has toppled? These are ill tidings, devout swordsmen. That is the mother goddess statue. I implore you to help me to restore her. Seek out the red spirit Dinral, wreathed in flame as she dances across the heavens. When you have gained Dinral's claw, offer it at this spring. All right. Well, just because, who's Dinral? A spirit who takes the form of a great red dragon, long in shape. Look to the sky north of Death Mountain, and you may find Dinral there. Devout swords me, lend me your aid. What's Dinral's claw? I speak of the sharp claws wreathed in flame on the tips of the red spirit's limbs. One who approaches too closely puts themselves at great risk. Shoot from afar, and the fragment should fall safely to the earth. I'll take care of it. Please, I beg this of you. All right. Well, let's go see if we can... All right, so first, because we have to go down into the depths anyways, let's see if we can maybe find Dinral in the depths. Uh, actually, let me put on the appropriate clothes to go into that part of the depths first. And this one. And then I'll put on my greaves. So then I have a little extra armor. Okay. And then let us go into the depths and see if we can find Dinral down there or a frox, whichever one we come across first. Ooh, wait, there was Dinral. That means Dinral will be heading towards a cave soon. Uh, oh yeah, the Bosco Goblin. I think that's a white one. I don't I don't like that. Go back up. Um North of Death Mountain. Well we saw Dinral, so let's go ahead and go there and see if we need to go up higher. We'll figure out which tunnel it all falls into. Alright. Uh, I think I might have to go up higher. Let's see. We were over this way and I saw Dinral. I'm like here. So, yeah. If I go this way, I should eventually come across Dinral. Should. Let's see. Nope, not deep enough in. Let's see. Find a fallen rock that would help. Where? Alright, this should be deep enough to a hill. 
Ooh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, nope. I definitely need to get up higher. Let's try this one. Let's see. Need to face this way. There he is. Well, she. Apparently, do Dinrala is a female. Wait, do I have like a sky island? Nope, I do not. All right. Well, I am up fairly high. Minaru will give me a little extra. Oh, I, I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna be high enough to actually. No, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna follow her until she gets lower. Or I can get up somewhere high enough to... Uh, that's a cave. That's Unovo Co. I think Dinwall goes over to that hole. That would make sense. Let's see if I can... Because that's a little bit higher up the mountain. Let's see if I can... Basically, jump down from there. Uh, it's not quite high enough there to get to Dinral. Maybe from here it will be. Alright, let's see. Where? Nope, not that way. This way. Yeah! This might get me up high enough. And I got plenty of stamina, too. Just have to be careful not to fall too... low. I'm trying to get back over to her. Which I'm not, so... Actually, do I have any shards? From Denral? If I don't, I can jump on top of her back, maybe. And then... Grab a few of those. Shards of the Light Dragon. Light Dragon Talon. Fang. I do not have any of Dinral's shards. Okay, that works. Alright, ooh, yes. I feel like we are getting very close. Very close to the nice young lady. So we'll see about getting onto her back. And then... We'll get a Talon after we've collected some shards. Okay, come on. Almost there. Almost there. Alright, not quite there yet. Alright, that should be good. Ooh. There we go. Alright. Get some shards. Woo! Shard of Dinral Spy. Just, uh, collect a few of these. And then we'll get a claw. Nope, can't cancel that. Alright, let's see. What do we got? This one goes away after a while. Alright, any other spines around here? I find it funny that the other dragons, like, they have bursts of wind around them, but Zelda doesn't. I find that kind of funny. It's like, she doesn't make... Ooh, she doesn't make getting on her easy. Of course, you know, 
she doesn't remember you, so of course she's not gonna make, you know, some random thing easy to get on top of her. Alright. Let's see. Just trying to see where some shards are. Uh... Alright, any other shards? Nope, doesn't look like it. Ah, here's some. Okay. She's a very pretty dragon. And I, like, I want, they say that it's a spirit that takes the form of a great red long dragon. But is it really a spirit? Like, could it also have been someone who had a secret stone and ate it for some reason? Like, that would be a really cool DLC is to, you know, figure out who these dragons originally were. And since you have Meru, who is, you know, the Sage of Spirit, you could theoretically find their spirits, because, well, spirits are, you know. Alright. The hair. I think the hair technically counts as scales. I didn't roll. Alright, I just need a claw. I will get a claw, and then I will let you be upon your way. That one. Nope. There we go. Where are you landing? Where'd it go? There it is. There we go. General's Claw. Oh. Oh, hey. Those things repair weapons. Do I have any weapons that need to be repaired? No. Alright, that's fine. I will mark this on the map for where I can get weapons repaired if I need to. But I think I had another one. Alright. Let's see. So yeah, Dinral's like going over here. I'm pretty sure Dinral goes down this cave. So why don't we go ahead and go down that cave and see if we can get any other fun stuff off of Dinral? Because I think they reset after so long. So we'll go over there, see if Dinral pops down, or if Dinral keeps going. She might keep going. Let's see, she would be facing this way? Yeah. We're not close enough yet to see her over the mountains. Which is fine. Alright, let's see. That's the sword. Let's see, is there anything over here? I haven't collected yet. Because it looks like one of the places where there would be... Like a shrine or something. Sun Delion. All right. Yeah, there's a shrine over here. So let's get the shrine real quick. Let's see. Let's see, do we see General from up here now? Oh, that's one of those golem thingies. Ooh, no, I don't see her. All 
All right, let us get a few toys out of the gacha machine. And then... If I type... Yep, okay. Here's... Let's see, what hot dragon major scale? My dragon skill, Thrash skills. I don't have anything. General Spa, my dragon's talon. All right. Yay, toys! Shock emitter. Oh, apparently I haven't collected one of those yet. Interesting. Here's Dinral. Uh, she's not glowing, so I don't think she's uh, ready for me to go and maybe collect something off of her. So I charge. I wonder if all these Sky Islands were at some point, like, interconnected? Somehow? Hi. Uh, Great Hyrule Forest Sky. Yay, I now have the teleport point. Take the crystal connected by the beam. Alright. Where is that pointing to? Somewhere down there. Oh, on him. No. No, we're not gonna do that. Dinral is there. And... We are going to... Go in... Wait, have I dropped that one over there? It does not look like it. And that's like right above the chasm. I don't think it's that one. Uh, I'm not seeing it down there either. Where is that one at? Like, there's the labyrinth. Honestly, not that far away, but I don't see it. Let's see. Is it that one over there? No, it's not that one over there. Huh. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Let's go. Alright, we'll go get a picture of this one. Since it will be easy to get. Alright. And it's right above the chasm where Dinral will probably be dropping into. Yep, here's Dinral. Alright. Oh! This one's a falling one. That's fine. I can still technically get the picture, can't I? Okay. Hopefully that counted. Ooh, Star Fragment! Where is it at? Oop, I... No! I want the star fragment. There we go. Caught it. And there's Dinral, going into the hole. Which we anticipated. Yeah, she's not glowing anymore. I guess that's what happens whenever... You, uh, go through and... We'll just hit a... Hit a ride going down. See where some light roots are at. The pretty lady. I just have to be careful not to fall completely off of her. Yeah, like right here should be fine. Darien Highlands Chasm. Alright. We'll just hit her ride down. Whatever 
she starts to level off, we'll see what we see. Like, I, I don't think she has any other hair here other than, you know, trying to maybe land on one of her horns to, uh, go down. But yeah, like, after you collect something off of them, I think I heard it takes, like, ten minutes in order to get, uh, them recharged for lack of a better term so then that way you can collect other stuff off of them and she dropped down here at about 2 a.m. oh <laughs> one of the fireballs hit me <laughs> but at least I'm not on fire fire and I have the flame guard stuff on so, like, she's going into the part of the depths that is a part of the hot zone. Let's see, what's, I guess that's another chasm way. For lack of a better term. I like how Dolan's the only one that hangs out around the dragon. It's like, I can fly, it's fine. That's a whole bunch of pose. For some reason. Alright, you gonna start leveling out yet? I think, I think, yeah, she's starting to level out. Alright, so let's go to her snooty. So then that way we can look around and see if we see any light roots. I don't think we're going to see any light roots because it's just so difficult. Those are a bunch of pose. More pose. Like the light roots have a slight orangey glow to them. But this whole area has a slight orangey glow to it. That makes it very difficult to see just about anything. Do by most use. Yes. Alright, so. That looks like a monster camp. There's a light root. Alright. Oop, way to go. There it is. Alright. That over there looks like one of the statues that you would get for uh, a weapon. I think that's the one that I marked. Yeah, that's the one that I marked. That over there, I guess, is one of those construct things. But yeah, no, trying to find light roots here is kind of not helpful. Because everything's kind of orangey. There's another one. Alright, well... See if I can get anything over to where that I'm assuming it's a construct. Yeah, that looks like a construct and there's all kinds of gloom over there. That's not going to be fun to play with later. Kind of lighting up the path that they're going on. Let's see, that's a huge monster den over there. Let's see. Where is Denral possibly going to pop up at? They're going back over here. 
So they're probably going to pop up on this one. Which would make sense. Let's see. She started to glow again yet? Oh, she has. Alright. She has started to glow again. So what do we want to get? Do we want to get a scale, a claw? Oops. Starting to fall. So let's see. What do we got? By type. We have one of her talents. We have some of her shards. Rosh, Light Dragon. We almost have everyone's scale. Let's see. Let's do it. Yep. Got set on fire again. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get a scale. Yay! And then the next little uh, light route we come across, we'll go ahead and start heading towards that one. I have two marked. Oh, that's a bunch of Yiga. Is there a light route around here, though? Not that I see one. That doesn't mean that there isn't one. I just don't see it at the moment. But yeah, the next light route will go over to... Oh, look! There's one right ahead. So we'll see how close Denral gets to it, and then if she flies right over it, we'll just drop down and collect it. That sounds like a good plan. What is that down there? That doesn't look slightly ominous at all. Oh, something just exploded. I don't know what that is, and I don't like it. Oh, I know what that is! That's a Talos! Okay. That's a Gloom Talos. Not friendly. Not friendly at all. Alright, well, it looks like she's gonna fly right over this light route. And there's another one, it looks like, in the middle of that lava lake. For some reason. There's quite a few around here, isn't there? Oh, I'm almost out of arrows. I should probably stop. <laughs> well, thanks for the lift. We'll go over to this light route. And then, oop, don't touch the ceiling. The ceiling is badness. We'll activate this, and then we'll go back to the Spring of Power. I'm pretty sure I know what hole Dinral is going to pop out of. Which is always nice to know. There we go. Alright. Yeah, error, it's so hot. Please the light root of darkness. There we go. Is there anything any cool or interesting around here? Just building stuff. Let's see. I don't think we'd find a frox around here because it's just so hot. And as far as I'm aware, the frox don't really do hot. Nope, not that. Let's see. Um, let's see. I do wonder if it just makes it extra hot. Oop, nope. Nope, still gotta hit them with an item. But the nice thing is, is that Bokoblins literally only take like one hit to die. There we go. So all Bokoblins are literally the easiest thing to destroy. Which is nice. Alright, there's some horrible one over here. Elden Dark Skeleton. What does that mean? Just... Well, that's not what I want. There we go. Where'd it go? Did it just fall down? Nope, too... 
Oh, no, it. Where are the electricity one? <laughs> Lost its weapon. Well, he was throwing stuff. Topaz is badly. Alright. Rock Sledge. Well, he actually has a very nice weapon. I don't necessarily want you to fall further down the chasm. Can we... Stop trying to fall down the chasm. That's all I ask. I just need your bits and pieces. Thanks. What was it that I needed? The horn? Probably the horn of a very specific one, too. Horblin claws. Alright. You know what? I haven't gotten a picture of Dinral. I should probably get a picture of Dinral. Where is she at? There she is. Oh, apparently I already have a picture of Dinral. Okay, cool. Let's go over to this slight route that I haven't activated over here. That, again, is in the middle of a lava lake for some reason. We're like towards the uh, center of Death Mountain, I think, up above. Yeah, we're like definitely getting closer to the center of Death Mountain. Just all kinds of like roots down here, aren't there? I have no idea how I would get out of the, you know pit of lava. Other than to make like an ice bridge. But I think I'll just go back up top and wait for uh, Dinral to come out or something. That I necessarily have to wait for her. There we go. Oh look, everything's connect connected now. Excellent. Alright. So, to the shrine of Actually, if I go up to this one, I can probably just glide down to it. That'll make things easier. I am someone who likes easy. Oh, alright. Well. Mm. Huh. Let us go. To the spring of power and offer up a call. Let's see. Yeah, it's like this way. Tomatoes? Tomatoes. And spring should be... jump off here, I should be able to get fairly close to where it's at. I think. Yeah. I think I see the little little uh, quarry that it's in. It definitely looks like a quarry. Alright. Oh look, there's a little Cora. Go ahead and get him real quick. Since I'm not going to be able to climb back up here in order to get him since it's raining. Yay! You found me! 
all right.